Hi, it's Chris. In this video, we're going to show you how to properly install a set of pedestals on your laundry equipment. Pedestals can make a great addition to your laundry room, and the installation is pretty easy. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is get as much clutter and stuff out of that area as possible. So whatever you have in that laundry room area, move that out of the way. It'll make your installation so much easier. So we've got pretty well everything out of there and now you're able to see quite clearly that with the height of the machine plus the height of the base that we're still okay with this shelf. But something you're going to want to consider in your home is there anything up above your machinery that's going to be in the way that you'll have to deal with. So the next thing we want to do is set these pedestals aside. Just makes removing the washer and dryer much easier. So we're going to start getting the machines out of here. To do that I'm going to turn off the taps to the washer. Um, cut the strap that's holding the drain hose in place and uh, undo those hoses. Now that we have the washer and dryer disconnected, we need to move them into an area that's a little bit larger so that we can mount them onto the pedestals. So as you can see, this area is a pretty tight spot for moving something as heavy as a washer out of place. Not even a lot of room for two people to be able to get in at it. So that's why we use a thing called an air sled. This will allow us to basically levitate the machine and float it right out of here without hurting the property, the machine, or ourselves. So now that we got these bad boys out of the way, we're just going to take our pedestals in, set them on the floor, and get them leveled to the floor. It's very important to make sure that your pedestals are level, where they're going to be placed in your laundry room. Your appliances will be going up on top of them, so if your pedestals aren't level, neither will your appliances be. And if they're not level, you're going to get some vibration and things moving around. As you can tell, rocking and it can't do that. It has to be level and, and completely stable in place. So we're going to have to adjust the leveling legs on this one. So now we have the base so it's not rocking. It's nice and level and steady in place which is awesome. Um, just for anybody that noticed the wrench, it's kind of a weird looking thing. It actually comes with the washer so it's perfect. It does the removal of the shipping bolts and as well it works for adjusting your leveling legs and the jam nuts for the legs. And that's good for the pedestals as well as for the washer and even the dryer. So now that we have the pedestals level, the next thing we're going to do is take them out, bring them into our larger work area, set them down, and start mounting our appliances on top of them. So in this make a machine, they give you these clips to attach your uh, washer and dryer to the pedestal. Uh, so this basically just slips into a slot in the base, and that locks it in place, and you lower it down onto your pedestal. There'll be some screws that go into it, and that's what actually makes them marry together, so they're all one machine. So the last thing we're going to do is we just want to, in all four corners, lower the leveling leg just a little bit so that it's actually coming down and putting some pressure on the base itself. We don't want to have it lifted, but we just want it to have it coming down and touching. So now that we have the pedestal and the dryer married together, we're just going to zip it in and install it. Uh, we want to install the dryer before we go after the washer just because there's no way you're ever going to get that dryer vent hose in place with the washer in the same space. One thing we want to mention is the height of your dryer. Now that it's on its pedestal, there will be some adjustment required for the length of your vent hose. Um, so we're going to take away this old stuff and put on some new and better. So that's the dryer all hooked up. I'm just going to move it back into place a little bit so that it's in its proper position and then we'll put the washer in. On the dryer it had those clips that had to be slid onto the bottom in order to lock into the pedestal. The washer already comes with them on. The only difference being is they have ones that are forward facing and ones that are sideward facing. So you have to put four screws into each corner and you do that in all four corners. You'll also want to make sure that you adjust your leveling legs down just a slight bit onto the pedestal when you're installing your washer. Once we have our washer pedestal all tightened down and secure, we'll want to look at getting it back into place and hooking up our water and drain and power. So there we have it. We've got the washer in place now beside the dryer. We have them leveled up together and sitting square. We've test run the washer to make sure there's no leaks. So everything is working good. So we're really happy with this install. Thanks very much for watching. We hope this video helps you with the installation of your pedestals. And for more great videos, don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, swing over to fix.com and check out our blog.